All right, guys. Um, now that I disabled the X, uh, the X drive for my 2006 uh, BMW X3, um, and it's just rear-wheel drive. I've been driving it pretty uh, hard and doing burnouts and drifting a little bit and sliding around. Now I want to see if it can still handle a little bit of off-roading. Um, this is one of like the simple little trails that are near my house. It's just dirt, a little bit of hills. Um, so let's see if it'll handle the terrain just being rear wheel drive. Let me show you real quick. All dirt, loose dirt. There's a uh, sand over there. That's for like the dirt bikes and quads. They go over there. So I'm just going to drive through here and check out how she handles. Um, bear, bear in mind it's still a six speed um, manual. So holding the camera and shifting might be a little weird, but let's go for it. comes a hill. A lot of uh, body flexing, twisting from side to side, but she seems to be uh, handling it. Rear wheel drive, first gear, just coasting. Here's that little uh, sandbar where the dirt bike uh, and quads go. Not too bad, just a little test. Uh, now I'm gonna gun it and see if it uh, if it does anything. <laughs> Slid around a little bit. That was pretty fun. All right, don't be scared. Go to your uh, fuse box. Take out. The number 26 uh, fuse on your uh, on your E70 uh, X5 or your um, E83 X3s. Take it out, make a rear wheel drive, especially if you're having uh, issues with your transfer case, and just go with it. Have fun. It feels like a damn BMW. Uh, like it feels like a just a taller 3 Series. I love it. All right, check it out. Try it out. Let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments.